everyone, Cece here and today I have a show and tell for you. This is a mini album that I made for a friend of mine. Most of the supplies that I've used for this mini album is from Kaiser Craft, which is an Australian company who has great lines of products and all their products are coordinated. So the backbone of my project is actually three pieces of MDF and they're cut in the shape of a school bus. And the line of products is called Class of 87. And this is another one that I started actually and these are the three pieces that I've used as the base for my album. And as you can see here I've already started, I painted the edges with yellow acrylic paint and then I covered the top and then I used a file to file the windows and the two stripes here. I used the basic gray filing kit for this. And then I used this top piece here to trace around on different color of cardstocks, um, the ones that was matching the collection, and obviously without the windows. So I just traced around the shape here, and uh, I used those and cut them uh, by hand and then <laughs> added them as pages for my album. What's fun about this album are the peekaboos for photos here. You know those small photos the kids get from their school's photo sessions? Well, they're perfect to fit into the windows here and as you can see I don't have the photos with me and I'll talk about that later on. In addition to the paper I added a strip of DSP at the bottom of almost every page of the album and the all the DSPs from this collection is all the sheets are double-sided and at the bottom of each sheet you have you know where you have the name of the collection and, and the paper and, and all the other information well what's neat about this collection is that on the reverse side you've got a strip of paper that you can actually use and it's brilliant so this is actually one of them this is the bottom part of one of the paper from the collection the big letters that I have here are from American Crafts and they were originally white I colored them with my Copic markers and this is what I usually do by the way I use I buy only white letters or even white flowers because I know I can paint them or I can use my Copic markers to match the color scheme of every project that I made the small letters here are the mini alphas also by Kaiser Craft from their collection the class of 87 and I also colored these uh, these ones at the bottom in orange. The album is also bound by binding rings and I added grosgrain ribbons to match the color scheme of the paper. So pages 2 and 3 are also MDF pages and they're covered with a piece of DSP. Now obviously I don't have the pictures so I added photo mats wherever a picture uh, should be placed so that it's easier for the recipient to put them exactly where they should be so that when the album closes you'll be able to see the pictures properly. The circle stickers at the bottom are also from Kaiser Craft and they're called reward stickers and I've used them throughout the album. These two pages are kind of like the intro of the mini so I added a line of alpha stickers here that says the school bus belongs to and I've hidden the name of the person who will receive it because I don't know who watches my videos. So here the person will add the pictures from all the grades from nursery to reception. These are UK grades and then they have key stage one, key stage two, three, four, five, six right up to high school and high school is the biggest peekaboo there of the album. It's really neat. And here those two strips were also part of uh, one of the papers and there's, I, I love this quote. This quote says, the important thing is never to stop questioning by Albert Einstein. So I thought that was neat. And when you close the album you can see those two strips through these openings here. So the rest of the pages are essentially the same throughout the album, one for every grade. And this is, uh, here we have nursery. And I created the pocket out of the DSP in which I've added three small alphabet tags. And they provide um, additional space for journaling in the back. As you can see here, they have little lines already. And this was also part of the um, uh, paper collection. It was a full sheet of alpha stickers, so I just cut around them. And I also made this information card on which she can write the month and year of the grade. Um, also the name of the teacher, favorite subject, average grade, best friend, and accomplishments. On the right hand side here there's 
two more mats for photos. Now I have to talk to you about these circle stickers. They were originally popped on foam dots because I thought it'd be easier to slide a photo on the photo mats if the stickers were raised. But when I closed the album, when I was finished, and I bound it, the album was lopsided. So you can see properly the picture here from high school. So I took them all apart <laughs> and I glued them directly on the page. But what I did is I glued them onto cardstock first and then I cut around them and um, I made sure that I didn't put any adhesive where the photo mats were so that she can slide um, a picture right underneath here. And now the album closes properly and lays flat so I'm really happy about that. So I'll flip really quickly through the other pages. This is reception. And then you have key stage one, key stage two. Now what's fun about this album is that it's very colorful so I think it could suit very well a boy or a girl. This one just happens to be for a girl but I could see this easily for a boy. This is key stage four, key stage five. I love this double spread. I think it's my favorite. I just love the colors and the polka dots. Key stage six. This is high school. Obviously I didn't put the uh, high school title here because I thought it'd be perfect to just add high over here over school days. It just worked out that way. I love it. And on the high school page, you can actually see the peekaboo of the last picture on that piece of MDF board at the end. And the last page is our poem that was also part of the DSP collection. And I love it. I'll just read it to you real quickly. It says, grab hold of a magic pencil, open your eyes and mind, for now begins a journey of the most exciting kind. A journey into learning, a step, a start, a glow, and we will be there with you to help and watch you grow. How cool is that? So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this show and tell, and I certainly had a lot of fun doing this. It was, uh, it was challenging for me because I'm not used to using bright colors like this, but uh, it was just so much fun. So as usual, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will see, see ya later.